Hello beautiful people and welcome to your monthly guidance for January 2022 with me Julie Poole. Thank you for being here. Thank you for coming back. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Julie Poole, a professional hypnotherapist, Reiki master, healer, energy worker, law of attraction teacher, author and uh, intuitive. So welcome. This is good for your sun, moon, rising, Venus and cross-watching if you would like to watch that for somebody that you care about that's fine too anything else i want to tell you the links are below to the cards that i use to my website to book in with me i am open for readings throughout january it tends to be quite a busy time that's when everybody wants to know what's going on um, and if you haven't got the time or the money to book in a private session a private reading with me reading healing whatever you're looking for then you will find your 2022 annual general readings and annual love readings that you can purchase from my website quite a small amount the link is below all right so without further ado, let's get into the monthly energy forecast for January 2022. Hello Scorpio and welcome to January. I hope you had a lovely Christmas if you celebrate it and a very happy new year to you. So we're going to do a little bit of a general read um, and then we're going to look specifically at career, jobs, money and then we will pull a few other cards for romance and love and then we'll finish off with an angel card so stay with me till the end all right we're going to start off with a couple of angel cards what's going on for my scorpios for january please okay we have higher thought and energy right this energy card has been coming up over and over and over again for lots of different signs so in january we're being asked to be mindful of our energy scorpio so if you start to feel a little bit drained low negative whatever just visualize that draining away i tend to do it in the shower i kind of get under the shower and pretend i'm being washed not by water but by light and just imagine all the yucky stale tired energy washing off me and going down the drain and then i visualize plugging myself into the battery of the universe and recharging my energy it works a treat try it all right be mindful of your energy this this month of january and we've got higher thought so we are asked to connect in with our higher self our soul source energy higher self universe connecting in with our angelic realm basically getting into a high vibration so that we're coming from a place of love not fear so when we think about that we think about um, making a decision from a place of negativity or from a really like yes i can do that i feel good about that just getting into that higher place all right so let's find out why we need this energy and why we need to be connecting in with our higher thoughts i'm saying we because i'm scorpio rising so whenever i do your reading it's always interesting to me too all right so this is the wisdom of the oracle we're going to have a couple of cards from here. What else is going on for my Scorpios? Tell me more, please. Okay. All right. We have by the book and a never ending story. All right. Now, the never ending story. I don't know if you can see her. They're sitting on that plinth with her head in her hands, kind of going, oh my days, what have I done? Here we go again, going round and round, the same old. Mm, different day you know what i mean so never ending story is when we keep repeating negative actions patterns getting in the same funk all right so funk i said uh, okay <laughs> right so why okay somebody else had this card when i can't remember when we keep repeating the same mistake uh, I don't want to say, no, they don't like mistake, all right. Um, when we keep repeating the same actions, behaviours, what we're drawn to, we keep being drawn to the same thing, even though it tends to have a pretty negative outcome, it means that we haven't quite grasped some 
deeper meaning lesson. Could be boundaries, could be respect, could be it's unfinished business, isn't it? Never ending story. We keep going into the same thing. So that's going to be happening for some of you in January. Buy the book, buy the book. All right, this is about integrity, doing it right, not cutting corners, and being led by your guides. When you see those three elephants there um, attached to each other from their tails and their trunks, they're following the leader. And what this is representing is the leader is your higher self, which is why we've got that higher thought there. Your higher self is trying to guide you out of this bit. Okay, it was interesting when I was writing my book, Angel on My Shoulder there behind me, um, I put a lot of my teachings into that book and kind of wrote it into the story um, of the lead character and her angel forever trying to guide her on the right path and if we're ever going the wrong way and her angel pulling her hair out and going, oh my days, we're never gonna get her there. It's that kind of thing. They do get you there, but it's when we're ready to listen and take the action and follow the leader of our higher self because they don't want you in this thing anymore, okay? So whether it's something like, let me give you an example, you keep being drawn to the same type of person as a friend or as a lover, and it keeps going wrong because the underlying energy is exactly the same and it could be lack of respect, lack of boundaries, like why do I keep getting involved with toxic people? I, it's about being able to heal that deeper part of you that since somehow needs that destructive part. And maybe you keep going into a job and being bullied. So you leave the job and go into another one and you're bullied again. And you're thinking, why me? What's going on for me? There is a part of you that is resonating on the vibration of being bullied because you were bullied before and it's not healed. So you keep attracting it to you. That's the kind of thing that we mean I say we mean because this is kind of coming from my uh, spiritual team, um, that we mean when we say they want you to break this never-ending story so that you can be happy. Mm? Okay, right, let's have a look at the tarot. Let's find out some more for my Scorpio. Stop groaning, I can hear you groaning. <laughs> it won't apply to all of you, but those of you it does that find yourself in the same kind of shit different day, um, it applies to you okay right so we have got three of wands three of cups page of wands nine of cups good good central energy page of coins with faith okay ace of coins nine of wands and the moon <laughs> So the moon, as we know, most of you will know, represents what's going on underneath. And this is what I was talking about with these cards, the deeper part of you that is resonating on some kind of vibration that you don't want to be resonating on. You want it clear. So your central energy is the page of coins. Pages represent opportunities for a new beginning. All right, not necessarily the new beginning, but the beginnings of, like the seeds of, starting, right? So you may in January start to um, be aware of where you keep repeating the pattern. You know, why do my parents always treat me with such disrespect? And it's gone on and on and on for years. Mm. Whatever that is for you, this is an opportunity to, first of all, recognize it. Awareness is the key. With my therapist hat on, uh, my energy healing hat on, you know, this is, we can't change anything until we become aware of it. So the page of coins here is representing the beginnings of that awareness so that you can start to make the changes. Now, the page of coins is obviously about money, but it's more than that. It's about security, feeling safe, secure, solid, grounded, stable, balanced, all of that good stuff that we want to get to. So this is the energy all around you for January. How do we get that stability? How do we get, oh, they're just giving me another example. Okay, so those of you that might get involved with a new relationship and run, um, you know, the slightest problem, I'm off. And then you find somebody else and you do it again and you do it again and you do it again. That's the never ending story. It's stop, pause, why am I running? What's going on for me here? Um, is it within me? 
is it that I just keep attracting the wrong person, which is why I run, or is it something in me that has got issues with commitment and going for it? Do you see what I'm talking about here? Apply this to your own circumstances, Scorpio. Um, this can also be, in terms of job and career, the beginnings of change for a new job. But it's all about this opportunity to get into a more solid, stable place, okay? So your first card, the Three of Wands. This is expansion, growth, dreams, your ship's coming in. What do I want? I want to break this never-ending story. I want to be in my highest self. I want to be living my best life. This is very much about wishes and dreams coming true. And it's underpinned by the Nine of Cups. Whoop, whoop, which is the a dream a wish coming to fruition, coming true. So we're dreaming big and we're dreaming of this new beginning, Ace of Pentacles, whoop, all right? So the page is there to try and get us to this new place of safety, security, uh, grounded balance, and it wants to come in, but you need to be dreaming it into existence. And by dreaming, I don't just mean it stays as a dream. Our dreams show us, our desires show us what we truly want. And it's only when we know what we truly want that we can start taking the action towards it and making it happen. So there is a dream. There is a focus that you want this security and this stable, solid beginnings. And it absolutely can come in. We've got the Three of Cups with the Page of Coins and the Nine of Wands. So the Three of Cups is a celebration. It is a really good card of connecting with people. It's friendships. It's spending time with people you care about. It's being in a happy place. It's having um, your person, your people, being your tribe, being there for you. And that is one of the things that we're wanting to embrace. So those of you feeling a little isolated or nobody close to you, this is one of the opportunities they want to bring in. Because you're making life hard for yourself. Now that sounds like I'm criticising you or blaming you. I'm absolutely not. But we do, we make life more difficult for ourselves than it needs to be because we get stuck in these habits, patterns, and we don't understand why, and we just move on and, and recreate it. So we're creating this burden, nine of wands, the battle-weary soldier of, oh, oh, just give me five minutes and I'll, you know, pick myself up, dust myself off and carry on again. But we don't want that anymore. We want to get to a really good place. So the page of wands is here in this last row, which is, again, the beginnings of change to be more empowered, to be more um, energized, to be more enthusiastic, to, to feel this get up and go. So those of you who feel your get up and go has got up and gone, we want to get into that energy of, right, I feel this vibrancy, I've got faith in myself. Even though underneath with that moon, I may not know quite why I do what I do, I am in this energy where I'm going to figure it out and I'm going to break that pattern. Okay, so let's look at it across here. The Nine of Cups, the Page of Wands to Faith. I have faith that I can have this new beginning for one of my dreams, wishes come true. Now, one of those, because of the coins here, could be a new job. We'll look at that when we come on to the cards for career. But predominantly, whether it's a job or whether it's money or whether it's just life, what we're looking for is that nice, strong, stable ground. Okay, now across the top row, three of ones, three of cups to the page of ones. I can dream big, I can create it, I can celebrate it, and I can be in my power. And this bottom row, ace of coins to the nine of ones, to the moon, moving towards that new beginning, even though it might be a bit of a challenge, it might be a bit difficult. When we face some of our behaviours, you know, it's not easy. When you kind of figure it out and you have that aha moment, you know, as many of my therapy clients do, we're, we're clearing old patterns and behaviours and things that keep them stuck. Um, as we do that, they've got to work through that and out the other side. It takes a bit of effort. It's not the end of the world and it's absolutely worth doing, even though it reveals stuff to you that you weren't aware of before. As I said, awareness is the key. As you become aware of it, then you can make changes. Then you can take your power. Then you can sort it. So coming through this diagonal, the three of wands to the page of coins to the moon, 
I can dream of my ships coming in, which might be to meet the love of my life, to have the greatest job, to, 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 to whatever it is for you. I can create that new beginning and everything that is mm, due to me is the, uh, the, what they're saying. Everything that is your divine right, your happiness, your joy, your fulfillment, we can start to allow that to come up to the surface and move towards a happier, healthier, stronger you. Okay, it's quite a deep reading for you this month, Scorpio. They're saying it's time for you to get to a happy place, basically. Time to get to a happy place. And if you're already happy, fantastic, get to a happier place. I'm already happy, but I'll take a bit more happiness. Thank you very much. Okay, right, let's get a little bit more information for you. All right, we've got the King of Wands, the Hierophant, the Four of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords, the Ten of Swords and the Fool. All right, good stuff. So there's your new beginning with that Fool if you kind of own this, all right? The King of Wands here on the Three of Wands and Three of Cups. If I take my power and I'm dynamic and determined and decisive, I can do this. And you can, you absolutely can. And the Hierophant is saying, look, this it's the faith card so we kind of got that twice taking my higher knowledge my higher learning my deepest awareness moving it forward into something that is strong and solid and committed i'm committing to me i'm committing to a happier life i'm committing to a more secure life the four of pentacles is a little bit of a lack of security i have the basics of what I need, but I'm kind of holding on so tight because I'm scared I'm going to lose it or I'm scared there's no more coming in. We want to get to a place where we feel more secure and abundant, that there is a flow, that there's always enough. So we're going to need to be honest. Queen of Swords here, as you know, I call her the Queen of Truth. We need to be really truthful and honest about our level of happiness because that Three of Cups is, woohoo, celebration. Am I really happy? Do I really have close friends, tribe connections? If the answer is no, which for many of it is, because we've got the Ten of Swords here, we can start to say, right, I'm ready for that to end. It's a 10. That betrayal, that letdown, that hurt, that repeated pattern that keeps happening, that it needs to go and I'm ready for it to go and embrace a new beginning. I'm gonna take a leap of faith on this and I'm going to allow that kind of burden struggle that I have with life to come up and be released and get sorted so that I can have my new beginning, which is my happy ever after, which is one of my wishes coming true, which is my life getting easier and better and happier for me. I can do it. I absolutely can do it. But I'm being asked to look at those patterns it may be that you keep trying to quit smoking and you keep falling off the wagon and you give it another go and you keep falling off the wagon. Now, if I was treating somebody for stopping smoking, I would be looking at why, right? Why? It's no good just treat the symptom, treat the bloody cause. Why? So if you don't know when you're stuck, get some help. Talk to a friend, talk to a therapist, talk to me, whatever you want to do. But you can do this. It's time. It's January. It's a new year. Let's get it sorted. Okay? All right, my lovelies. I sound like I'm lecturing you, don't I? I don't mean to. All right. I'm just kind of the messenger. Don't shoot the messenger. Okay, let's have a look at money, career, job, finance for my Scorpios, please. Money, career, finance. Okay. Seven of Cups. The world and the lovers now okay when we are looking at these cards for job money career we are looking at options and choices you've got two cards here of options and choices the lovers we're not looking at love at the minute lovers is all about choices decisions coming from your heart coming from a higher place remember the cards from the angels that we had here higher thought and energy 
The lovers is a higher vibration of making decisions that are right for you, that feel right from a higher place, from the higher place, from the heart, not from the head. The head is full of ifs, buts and maybes and blocks and fears and wibbles and wobbles, but the heart knows the heart knows. So listening to the heart, and we've got the Seven of Cups, which is options and choices. What are my choices in terms of my money and career? We've got the World card here. Something is wanting to close out, finish off, end. Now, that could be that you are changing jobs, ending jobs, retiring. This could be that you're closing down a business because it's just not working for you and you're going to go into something new. It doesn't have to be the ending of the job, the career, the, the business. It can absolutely be the ending of struggle with it. Looking at your options and choices, what is, all right, with that seven of cups, there's good choices on there and there's bad choices on there. Okay, so when we look at your job, what are the difficulties that you have and how can you overcome them? What decisions can you make when you tune into your heart and say, what needs to go? Am I too complying? Am I too helpful? Am I giving too much? Am I doing too much? Something needs to shift and end here, but we're gonna do it from a higher place. So in terms of career and money, you are allowing yourself to come from a place of higher thought to look at what serves you and what doesn't serve you with your job and career to let go sometimes of the entire job or business but other times it's about perhaps over giving over committing getting yourself run down and exhausted keeping trying to do something that isn't working only you will know how this applies to you but as you look at it and say, right, the universe is saying to me here, some part of my career finance needs to close off. Those of you that are not working, and this is about finance and investments, is looking at your choices and options. Do I need to reevaluate my investments or my debts? All right. Do I need to consolidate debts? What are my options and choices here? Am I overspending? Am I over saving when I'm holding everything for a rainy day and it's pouring outside and you're not willing to spend. Look at those options. They're asking you to look at it and to close something out. So mm, particularly they're showing me, uh, they show me a lot of debt scattered all over the place and that's doing your head in because you're trying to multitask all these different debts when maybe it is better for you to consolidate them into one loan and have one focus. Mm. For others, it's about reevaluating your expenditure and pulling something back. Something wants to change here. Um, or they just, this is a nice one, they just show me an example of somebody paying their final payment on a mortgage or a car loan or some significant debt. It's closing it out, which is opening up new options and choices of I'm, I've got more money available to me now. So I'm trying to cover as many different scenarios for you as possible. So feel into that what resonates for you but something here is closing out but we're coming from the heart with it from a place of a higher thought to make those decisions all right okay let's have a look at love and romance for you scorpio we're using the lenormand for this love and romance my scorpios please we have got the bridge the maze and the, uh, oh, we've got another one, another one, another one. Okay, uh, we've got the, <laughs> slow down, okay. The bridge, the maze, the child, and the magnifying glass. Okay, let's look at the bridge for a minute. This is love and romance. So, um, okay, not um, friendships. This is like relationship romance, okay. So the bridge, I am being given the opportunity here to bridge a gap. The bridge is going across that ravine when it looks like, how do we get from one place to the other? Sometimes relationships kind of create this big chasm, this massive gap, and we can't seem to reach each other. So the universe is giving you a bridge here to bridge the gap. 
Now that may mean you need to talk, you need to sit down together. For those of you single, this is bridging the gap from singledom to soulmate. We've got the child here, which is all about your inner child and also connecting in with soulmates and other um, Mm, your your mini me that wants love and play and fun are uh, connecting in with that the bridge is there to make that connection because it's been hard work you've got the maze which is a little bit like the nine of wands it's we keep going hitting a brick wall and kind of having to go a different direction we're not getting where we want to be but this card talks about keep going don't give up you'll figure it out you will get there so keep going now with that bridge keep going to try and bridge a gap for whatever this applies to you we are trying to bridge a gap here and we need to look at the detail from a place of love and innocence and trust the child is very much about trusting and children are very forgiving they can be very hostile and they say it the way it is but they're quick to forgive they don't hold grudges they've moved on children don't kind of hold on to that resentment that adults do that builds up so look at the detail the magnifying glass is all about look at the detail what's really bugging me what's really bothering me what's really going on for me let's bridge that gap and let's end the struggle I'm not giving up I'm moving towards solution here the bridge is your solution okay that's what i have for you for romance let's finish off with an angel card scorpio we want that one okay <laughs> success i love it because your message this month is very much about allowing that deeper stuff to come up to, to be resolved you will be successful those of you that this relates to that you can you know it yeah you will be successful it's not wasted nothing's ever wasted anyway sometimes we need to try once twice thrice before we get there uh you know for me it's never three it's four five six ten uh that's okay it doesn't matter how many times you try eventually you will succeed and this is the month that success is around you guaranteed if you choose to move forward into breaking that cycle of the never-ending story all right scorpio that is what i have for you i hope that helps thank you for being here i really appreciate you do catch me on the weeklies as well uh, i post every single week usually on a thursday so catch me there and i will see you next time and if you like this give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already all right my darlings have an amazing month I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.